Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'll show you how to set up and use the Stripe Pro add-on with WP Forms. The Stripe Pro add-on lets you easily accept one-time payments and even recurring subscription payments from your users via credit card by using one of the most popular and trusted online payment processing solutions on the market. With that said, let's jump right in. After installing the WP Forms plugin, you'll first need to install and activate the Stripe Pro add-on. So on the left sidebar, go to WP Forms, Add-ons, then find the Stripe Pro add-on, and then click on the Install Add-on button. Now that the add-on is installed and activated, go back to the left sidebar and click on Settings underneath WP Forms, then go to the Payments tab. On this page, look for the section called Stripe, and you'll see two settings, Connection Status, and test mode. Test mode will allow you to use the Stripe field on your form and accept test payments before going live. You'll first need to click on the test mode toggle, then click on the connect with Stripe button and go through the connection process. Keep in mind though that test and live mode have to be connected separately. In other words, if you enable test mode first, then decide you want to start accepting live payments, you'll need to come back to this page and turn off the toggle, then click on the connect with Stripe button and repeat the process again to accept live payments. For this tutorial, we're going to enable test mode and go through the connection process, but you can jump into live payments right away if you prefer. Click on the blue Connect with Stripe button, and on the next page, type in the email address that is associated with your Stripe account, then log in. The exact content you'll see on the following page will vary based on whether or not your Stripe account is already activated, so go through all the steps in the Stripe Connect wizard, and when you're done, you'll be brought back to your site's admin area. You should now see a green check mark next to connection status, so be sure to click on the Save Settings button at the bottom of the page. Now that the site is connected, we can go into the Form Builder to set up our form. After you finish setting up your fields in the Form Builder, look for the Payment Field section on the left and click and drag the Stripe credit card field into your form. You can click on the Stripe field to reveal its settings, which will allow you to change the label and description in the General tab. Click on the Advanced tab to view additional settings, one of which is the Link Email setting. This setting lets you choose which email field to autofill your customer's payment information with if they've stored it with a payment service called Link. Now that our field is set up, click on the Payments tab on the left, and then click on the Stripe tab. Click on the Enable Stripe Payments toggle to view all of the settings for your Stripe integration for this particular form. The first section will apply to one-time payments only. You can add a payment description, which is what will appear in a user's bank statement when they make a payment through this form, and the Stripe Payment Receipt field lets you choose the email field in your form so that users will get a receipt for their payment at whatever email address they entered. The Customer Email field is optional, but recommended. In the following three fields, Customer Name, Address, and Shipping Address, you can select the corresponding fields in your form if they're applicable in your specific case. If not, these fields are optional as well. You can also enable conditional logic for Stripe so that the payment is only processed if a user meets a particular requirement in your form, like checking a specific box. The next section covers settings for recurring payments. If you click on the toggle, a new set of settings will appear to allow you to create a recurring payment plan for this form. You can write in the name for the plan and select how often the payments will occur – daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. In the Customer Email field, select the field in your form that will contain the user's email address. The next two fields, Customer Name and Address, are optional but recommended, so you can select their corresponding form fields if available. Finally, you can also apply conditional logic to the recurring payment plan so that it's only processed if a user meets a certain requirement in your form when they submit it. When you're done making your changes, click on the Save button on the top right corner of the Form Builder. Our final step is to preview our form and test the Stripe field out, so click on the Preview button at the top of the builder to open the form in a new tab. The Stripe credit card field will have fields for a user to enter their credit card information and may also display an option to pay either by Apple Pay or Google Pay. These two payment options will only appear if a user meets Stripe's requirement for using these payment options. Basically, if a user has either option enabled on their device or their browser, then they'll see it in the Stripe credit card field on your form. 
If you're using test mode, you can fill in the fields with any of the test credit card numbers provided by Stripe on their website and submit the form when you're done. When it's submitted, you can then go to your WordPress dashboard and click on the Payments tab under WP Forms to see your newly submitted payment. This payment will also be available to view on the Transactions page of your Stripe account. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to set up and use the Stripe Pro add-on with WP Forms to begin taking live payments on your site. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle Group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page and reach out to one of our trusted advisors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.